Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in an upcoming update, we're going to be adding a new mode for the Viper's AGM 88C Harm Anti Radiation Missile. Now, currently uh, in the Viper, we have the Harm as Sensor Mode, or HAS, and this allows you to directly attack an emitting SAM radar. Now we're going to be adding Position Mode. Uh, and within that, we have three different submodes. Uh, the first of which we'll implement is called the RUK submode or Range Unknown. And a bit later, then we'll be adding the Equation of Motion uh, EOM as well as the Prebrief or PB mode. Now, the big difference between these uh, two modes of uh, Harmless Sensor and Position is that when you're in Position mode, you'll actually be launching the harm at a designated steer point. And within a uh, designated uh, range and azimuth from that steer point, the harm seeker will turn on and search for a radar type that you selected and then home in on that radar. Now, the uh, two big advantages of this is one, that you don't have to wait for that radar to start emitting to attack it. And also, it, because you have some range information for where their steer point at least is located, it allows that harm to a loft, which gives it a much better range. Now, with this first submode uh, position, uh, RUK, as the name implies, we don't exactly know uh, where that radar might be in relation to the selected steer point. So it gives it a uh, pretty big area to look for, in this case, uh, within 20 nautical miles of the steer point and within uh, 120 degrees. So uh, once that uh, harm is in uh, 20 miles uh, from that steer point, it's going to turn on its seeker and try to find the radar type that we want it to. So let's take a look at this in operation. Uh, we'll first go to air to ground mode, of course. Turn on the harms. Uh, we see that we have one harm on station three and one on seven. And of course, we can cycle those using the nose wheel steering button on the control stick. We'll keep it at three for now. Let's go to the weapon page on the left side. And here we have our uh, harm format. Right now, we're in HAS mode. Let's click on the OSB and we'll go to position mode or POS. And now what we see is a green line in the center, and this green line is our launch status divider line, or LSDL. And you can think of it as below the line are your pre-launch harm indications, and above the line are the post-launch indications. On the left side, just like we had with HAS, we have our three different tables uh, based on the radar types, uh, table one, table two, and table three. And in this case, uh, here at steer point two, we have an SA2 here, and at uh, steer point three, we have an SA6. So let's first target this SA2 at steer point two. So we have steer point two selected. Here on the table, I'm going to select two. And now we have is the bottom, uh, top number here is a radar type that we selected. So I go three, search, six, two. And the bottom number is the uh, steer point we have selected. In this case, again, steer point two. And of course, we have RUK, or range unknown, sub mode selected. Uh, up on the HUD, we have a box with a dot indicating the steer point location. Uh, the bearing is 171 degrees in a range of 32 miles. Let's go ahead and unpause. On the right side, we have a dynamic launch zone. Uh, tops out at 40 miles. The carrot here is our current range indication to the steer point, and the top of the staple is our maximum range for the harm to reach that steer point. So mostly looking at the range down here, probably about 25 miles will have a launch indication uh, for a ready with a flashing box. And as you might imagine, the faster we are and the higher, higher we are, uh, the more range we'll have out of that uh, harm shot. Okay, 26 miles, probably about 25 miles. Okay, flashing box, hold down the weapon release button, and magnum. And now you'll see that on station uh, three, those indicators moved to the, over the top of the line and automatically selected uh, station seven for an SA-2 on steer point two. Let's get away from this SA2 that's coming at us. Okay, 
Okay, so now we'll do is we'll program in for the next target, which is going to be an SA6 at steer point 3. So we'll change our steer point to steer point 3, and we'll select the weapon as an SA6. Uh, so SA6 at steer point 3, we have our HUD indicators. We're already in range. And Magnum. And yeah, come off target again. And you'll notice here on the harm page now both uh, indicators are above the green line, indicating that both have been launched. Anyhow, folks, I very much hope you enjoyed this video and that you find it useful for the next update. I'll see you next time. Thanks.